The GitHub repo for this use case can be found here. Hi, I'm Les Black. I work for Analysis Cloud Limited, the Irish cloud company. Uh, welcome to an Office Scripts demo. Today, I'm going to show you an example of a customer use case um, that I was presented with. Um, as you can see here, we have the worksheet um, containing their data. I've um, replaced it with sample data. So uh, we have some columns at the top and then we have some date fields to the right, um, separated by year. Um, on the left, as we go down on the rows, we have separate projects. And with each project, we have uh, our uh, data. Um, the request or the requirement was to uh, provide totals of the values uh, for each month and for each year for each project. So uh, for project one, we need to put a total here in cell I8, and that would sum the data directly below. Um, now, the um, one of the issues we had here was that the data or the size of the data would vary. Um, so it couldn't be predicted uh, the size. So you couldn't just put a static formula in here. Um, sum, for example, um, the last five rows. Um, another issue was that this was automated. Um, so um, that has to be taken into account as well. The user wouldn't be opening this workbook and adding anything manually. It all had to be completely automated. So this was a good candidate for Office Scripts. The Excel workbook is in the cloud as well. Um, so we have um, the second project here. Um, it also has five rows, but the, the second summation needs to be here as well. And of course, the sum needs to be needs to go right across here as well. So let's first, first of all, um, run the script um, that has been written to see um, it in action. Uh, and then I can explain the script later. Okay, so we can see here that we've got our totals uh, correctly entered. So I9 to I13, so that's correct. So it's from 9 to 13. And this one is J9 to J13, which is that one there, and so on across. Um, it ends at 2024, the end of 2023 there. Uh, okay. And then again, for the same project, um, we add the rows for each project below. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the code itself and see how this was done. Okay, so we're using a loop, first of all, to um, find the location of uh, the empty um, rows. So we're using column B um, as a sort of gauge. So we're going to go through uh, with this row testing uh, each cell for um, uh, it, its contents. So this is what this uh, get value to string part of the code is. So you can see here I've got three variables created. Now these are used for the testing uh, within the loop. So you can see here I'm testing for empty or not empty. Uh, and then later on I, I test for the end of table as well. So what I'm doing here is I'm going through each cell, I'm testing uh, if it's empty and then the subsequent cell or row is not empty. And then that way we can uh, discover that we have, uh, we find the location of the, of the this cell here. So it's the one just before before the beginning of each uh, set of data. And that is the row where we want to add uh, our summation. We also need to find the end of each table. Now that is done uh, later on uh, in a separate uh, 
formula or function I should say um, where we are going through finding um, this position and then subtracting 2 from the row number so 15 minus 2 is 13 and that gives us the um, the end of that sample of data and because the uh, format and the structure is consistent um, throughout each of these uh, worksheets um, this will not fail one of the things I need to uh, point out is that um, this uh, table of data is uh, produced automatically um, by a separate system um, not by non-human so um, it, it, its structure stays the same um, and it needs an automated process to uh, carry out the next step and Office Scripts is a candidate for that. Okay so we can see here that uh, in the um, second function that I've built here build summation formulas it's, it's, the, it's the final section and now that we've built an array of um, rows that is row 8, row 15, uh, row 22 and so on that is an array of integer numbers uh, we can then um, start to build for the formulas for each of these now one trick here is to uh, build uh, one formula and then just use the copy paste um, code to copy the formula across so you don't have to build a formula for each cell you only have to build a formula for each uh, it, for, for one column and then just copy the formula across so that's what I've done so we have an array um, called array of some rows here which contains the uh, row number um, of the empty rows or the, the rows that we enter the summation in so we've got 8 15 and 22 so then we go on and we need to build these formulas now if we go through and we can see I have a loop here um, I've assumed that the maximum number of projects in the worksheet is 25 but uh, the customer can, uh, can alter that quite easily um, by changing that number um, so you can see here we've got the sample uh, data there uh, for testing um, so we go through um, and we build the formula this way we're using a string variable um, we have our column i and then our row number now the row k and row k plus one is coming from that previously created array and as you can um, imagine we, we've um, changed the um, the row number depending on uh, the, the, the position of the data. So when we go through here, we've um, built each formula. We're then applying the formula to the workbook. We're not adding it to another array or doing any more actions like that. We're just using the existing loop. Um, we can see here that the um, we're copying the formula across from column I through to column BD. So again, the customer can change that quite easily themselves if they want to extend it for more years. Um, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new from this video.